When I ran for the board, I saw the same issues and problems that I was going through in my children and in my community children. So I started speaking up and saying things and I didn't know the proper way. I didn't know there was a school board that I could address. You know, I just started speaking up to whoever would listen. It landed me on the school board. My earliest memories are in Flagstaff, Arizona. We moved back home when the Bureau of Indian Affairs built a school, which I attended. I witnessed a lot of very atrocious things as a young girl, seeing them cut girls' hair off, shave the boys' heads, and see all this hair on the floor. And a lot of them did not speak English and only spoke Navajo. I would try to help them, then I would get punished. Within my experiences, I have learned to, to advocate for our, our kids, our parents, our community, learn to be a voice. Some voices out there are not heard. Hopefully through my voice that they will be heard. You know, it is a lot of work, a lot of sacrifice. As a young child, I've always been very quiet, very docile, very obedient, and learn not to talk back and always respect people. And so when I got on the board, um, I, that's how I was. I was still um, like that. But, but today, I think I'm able to stand up and speak up and voice concerns and issues for students and parents and my community.